What is up guys, welcome to JS Racing, my name is Jason. So today I want to show you guys what kind of cylinder heads that I've been using. Um, obviously they are very commonplace cylinder heads uh, because I can't access any camshafts, like unique camshafts. So I can only like rely on the cylinder heads to give me more power. So today I'm going to show you four cylinder heads that I've been using to really like make a huge difference in power output. So let's go. All right, so here are the cylinder heads that I use for my engines. Now these cylinder heads are all decommissioned because they all have some sort of damage to it. This one looks very clean, but I only used it to test the engine once and I never used it again because uh, the version that I use is actually this one and I'll explain where it is. But anyway, the top two are both 22cc cylinder heads. The bottom ones are 14cc cylinder heads. So the idea with the smaller combustion chamber is to sort of uh, make the compression ratio higher but the compression ratio also has to do with the gasket that it's paired up with and I'll show you in a little bit anyway so for the top two those are the ones that I use the most now both of these are 22 cc but the intake valves are different the exhaust valves are exactly the same size but intake valve for this one is about 24.5 millimeter and this one is 27 so for this one I can actually use much bigger carburetor so this uh, particular version of the cylinder head, I use it on the ZR16 and ZR22. So uh, for ZR16, I'm able to get about 17 to 18 horsepower from this if I pair it up with all the new stuff that I put on. Previously, it's around 15 horsepower, but that's with all the like the old stuff. So now I'm pairing up with all the new stuff. But anyway, so with the ZR22, it's uh, rated around 22 to 23 horsepower with this particular cylinder head. Now for this one, I use it on the ZR12, which is about 12 to 14 horsepower, but it's really around 14. And this one, I actually paired up with the stock gasket, which is a fairly thick gasket. Uh, and even with the thick gasket and, you know, so lower compression ratio, it's able to push uh, about 14 horsepower. So for this one, I use a much thinner gasket and this allows it to do, you know, 17 and above. Now the bottom two, um, this one actually used it, you know, stock and I tried it once and it's, it's pretty crazy too. So what I did was I took a ZR16, I swapped out the cylinder head with this one and I still used the same carburetor. So I did the dyno run once and I'll show you real quick. Uh, it still actually produced more horsepower than this one, so it's pretty crazy, but the intake valve is really too small This is about 22 millimeters, so it's really really small So supposedly you can only fit like a you know a very small carburetor on this one So what we did was we enlarged it and this one was actually one of the first ones that I played around with so what I did was I took the bigger valves from a an old 27, 25, and I just put it here. So you can see that I didn't machine it properly, you know, all the marks and stuff. So this one, I used it to test on the engine and it gave an extra one to 1 1.5 horsepower. So this is really good too. But right now we haven't really used it with this gasket because uh, I actually have like a sheet that I use to calculate the compression ratio. And if I use this gasket, like a thin one, okay, the compression ratio is actually beyond 13 to 1. It's like, I don't know, 13 something to 1. So it's a bit too crazy, you know, because that will actually have to come with, you know, um, much better fuel, uh, much better, like, um, ignition timing, all that stuff. So I, we just stuck with the thicker gasket, and that will give us still around 12 to one sort of compression ratio. So even with this gasket, the compression ratio is still pretty high. Uh, for these, I think um, this one, the compression ratio is around eight to uh, eight point something to one. This one is around nine point something to one. And this one is, uh, I think I used the thin gasket. I didn't swap out. No, I did, I did. When I did the test, I swapped it out with the thicker gasket. But yeah, so uh, even though the intake valve was was small it was still producing a lot of horsepower um yeah but i did i did change to the thick gasket but anyway so that's pretty much the uh cylinder heads that i use and all the valve configurations so uh that was just a very brief video to show you guys what i use to put more power into these engines um without having access to better cams or better rockers you know so those are really key but i mean honestly i don't have access to a lot of good stuff like you know the better flywheels the better um the be better ignition coils 
better connecting rods, better push rods, all that stuff. I mean, I just don't have access to any of those. So I just have to make do with what I can get access to. And most of them are just really stock stuff. So uh, yeah, I just have to, you know, cobble together what I can and uh, make it work. But uh, so far, um, the highest horsepower I've been able to push is about, I think, 22.5, which is not bad. Uh, considering what I have on hand. The 28R, I'm still figuring out what else I can do uh, to reach 28 horsepower because the numbers basically is the target horsepower that we want to reach. And the ZR28R is really the most difficult one so far. But anyway, so that was just really a brief show and tell. And uh, yeah, if you guys got any suggestions as to what else I can play with, please let me know. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.